Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just having the fan TV, back action of the video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so with Ravens are fresh off that old Dell Beckham Jr. signing from yesterday. We're going to talk about it a little bit more, but in the context of Ravens owner Steve Bashotti personally recruiting Odell Beckham Jr. to get him here in Baltimore, right? That's big news, all right? This tweet comes from Josina Anderson last night. Ravens owner Steve Bashotti has been in frequent communication with Odell Beckham Jr., pitching him on the idea of coming to Baltimore, the support he would have with the team, and the necessity of helping to square things with Lamar Jackson as well. Source confirms the one-year deal of the $18 million, as we already know. All right. Now, listen, I've been somebody, if you've been watching the channel long enough, you would know I've been extremely critical of Steve Bashotti on multiple occasions. I feel like when it's time to sign your quarterback to a high-dollar amount, that usually comes from ownership because of the large amount of money that has to go into escrow, okay? So we're not going to get too technical and things like that, but that's just how I feel. So to see that he's going out of his way to recruit Odell Beckham to get him here in a way to help Lamar Jackson sign, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good sign. I think that's a sign that he's willing to try different avenues to get his quarterback um, on the same page as him and get him back on a deal in Baltimore, all right? So now Odell Beckham Jr. had mentioned before, um, well, according, well, through Josina Anderson, that he was feeling a lot of love from Baltimore, right? Now, obviously, people will say, well, that love is that $15 million. Now, that's that, that's very true, right? He's going to get $15 million fully guaranteed. Another incentives can take it up to $18 million, all right? Cool. But um, that love could also be the fact that, you know, the owner is going out of his way to personally recruit him. Now, I don't know what the Jets were doing. I have no idea what they have going on. But the fact that Steve Bashotti, Ravens owner, is going out of his way to say, Odell, we want you here. Come here. Be a part of this team. Help us build a Super Bowl roster. Um, now, listen, obviously money solves a lot of things, so I'm sure the money helped. Uh, but I think it's a good sign that uh, Steve Bashotti was willing to go out of his way to be in frequent communication with Odell. So not like he talked to him one time and that was it. Frequent communication means he was talking to him on a regular basis to get him here. Um, so... When Odell Beckham, um, like I said, I saw Josina Anderson's page that she he mentioned that he was feeling more love from Baltimore. I think that's a part of the love. When he talks about, when this tweet talks about the support he would have uh, with the team, right? Now, support can mean many different kinds of things. It could be with the, you know, make sure he's 100% from the rehab, keeping his, uh, his knee up. It could be family. It could be anything. But the fact is that the Ravens made Odell Beckham feel wanted and make it feel like he's going to be a big part of this team wanting to come here. Uh, for Steve Bashotti to do that, uh, great move, right? Because like I said, I've been very, very critical of Steve Bashotti this offseason. So when he does a move that I feel that I like, that I feel like it's a good move, I got to be the same person to give him credit for it as well, all right? Um, so I, I love that. Now, the part that's obviously very interesting is the necessity to help square things with Lamar Jackson. Um, I just saw a video. I don't know if it was from yesterday or maybe a couple of days ago, but Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham were in the club together. Lamar Jackson, like he wanted to go home. I don't think he's a club kind of person, but that seems to be part of the process is, hey, hey look, we're going to sign you here. We're going to give you this $15 million that you have been looking for because that's the number that's been kind of floated out there that Odell Beckham was looking for $15 million. Um, so we're going to give you that number. If we give you that number, help us get our quarterback back on, on task and help him get us back in the building. That's very, very interesting. I think that's well worth it. If it comes to the fact that this gives the Lamar Jackson signing a new contract in Baltimore, that's well worth the money. All right. Then next year, Lamar Jackson is here. Odell Beckham gets a new deal with the Ravens. You continue to roll forward like that. Um, so um, if this Odell Beckham signing helps anything with Lamar Jackson, that's that's a great move. I love that move, honestly. Uh, the fact that Steve Bashotti has been in frequent communication with the team, so that is a real collective effort between the owner and the front office to try to get a big name free agent here in Baltimore. Now, I mentioned this yesterday, and I'm being very serious, man. When it comes to offensive signings, Odell Beckham, just on the basis of his name, is one of the biggest names the Ravens have ever landed. And that's just the honest truth of it. Uh, yes, he's 30 years old. Yes, he's coming off an injury. I know all of these things, right? But it's a big move for the Ravens. It really is. Um, and the fact that, you know, Steve Bashadi is willing to go out of his way to reach out to Odell Beckham shows that it's a big move because I'm not sure how often he's involved in uh, free agent signings. If I had to guess, um, it's not very often that Steve Bashadi is personally calling guys frequently to get them here in Baltimore. So the fact that he's willing to do this shows that the importance that they feel as Odell Beckham can bring being with the Ravens. All right. So um, I saw that from Josina Anderson. I thought it was good news. I thought it was something interesting to talk about. Um, I love the fact that 
hey man, you know, he's doing what he can to get Lamar Jackson back. So um, the idea that the Ravens are just going to get rid of Lamar, trade Lamar, um, it seems less likely. Now, anything could happen between now and the draft, especially on draft night when uh, first round picks are getting involved. We'll see. But I feel like this is a good sign, a positive direction. I mean, I'll put it in the community post that Lamar Jackson and Odell Beckham Jr. almost immediately on FaceTime with each other. Uh, Lamar Jackson posting it on, on his Instagram. So that kind of confirms that, you know, hey, look, he's excited about Odell Beckham being a Raven. All right. So it's good news all around. Uh, we'll see if this move by Bashadi uh, ends in Lamar Jackson signing a new long term contract or just getting back in the building period for this season and having the Ravens really boost their eyes, boost their chances of bringing a championship, uh, championship number three uh, to the to Baltimore. So um, I love it. I love to hear it. I'm glad that Bashadi was willing to to put himself out there for the Ravens and for the team and say, hey, look, man, we need you here. We need you here to help our offense. We need you here to help us get our quarterback uh, back in um, uh, back in the building. It's beautiful all around. So I just wanted to share this with you guys, man. Let me know what you think about it. Big deal, no big deal. Let me know in the comments, all right? But I'm going to get out of here. It's Gabriel. It's another fan TV. I'm out.